Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how you go about buying stocks in the Robinhood app. So what you need is to have buying power. Right now, I'm on the homepage of the Robinhood application. To get buying power, you're gonna to need to link up a bank account and deposit funds. Now, to show you how to do this, we're gonna click on our little profile image in the bottom right-hand corner, and then click on these three horizontal lines in the upper right-hand corner to open up the menu, and then click on the transfers, deposits, and withdraws area. And then from this page, if you scroll down, you can see where it says linked accounts. You click on this little plus sign next to where it says add new account. If you want to link a bank account, you might already have a bank linked up. So you might be ready to go in that instance. And then you need to also transfer money from your bank over to the Robinhood app. And you can do this by clicking where it says transfer to Robinhood. You can enter in how much money that you want to transfer into your account, where it's coming from, and whether you want this to be an automatic recurring deposit or not, you can set that up right here. But going back to the homepage, I have this $100 in buying power. Now I need to find an investment that I want to buy. So what we want to do is go down here towards the bottom and click on this little magnifying glass. And you have some different options here. You can search for companies yourself. Maybe you know exactly which company that you'd like to buy their stock. You could enter that in right here. But you can also do some of your own research by looking through these different trending lists, like looking at 100 most popular daily movers and other areas that you might be interested in seeing what different investments that you can make in these different places but let's just say i wanted to get started with the 100 most popular investments so i click on that and by going through this list you can see what are some of the most popular stocks that other investors on Robinhood are buying into if you'd like to look through those companies but going back to the home page i'm just going to search for a company let's say maybe i'm interested in buying some Tesla stock. So I can enter that in right here. Of course, not investing advice, but what we want to do is click on where it says Tesla right there, open it up, and then it'll give us some more information on that company so we can see what they're currently trading at. And you can look at their different charts one day, one week, one month, three month, one year, five year, etc. And if we scroll down, we can get some more information such as the market cap of the company right now. Tesla is over a $700 billion market cap. You can see the 52 week high of the stock, the 52 week low, and then today's high and low. And we can also see some recent news on the company and things such as that. But let's say we wanted to invest some in Tesla. Now on the homepage, it said I had $100 in buying power, but Tesla is over $700 a share. So what am I supposed to do? Well, fortunately, Robinhood, you can buy fractional shares. So we're going to click on the buy option, this big green button here towards the bottom. And to buy in fractional shares, you can buy in dollars instead of buying in shares. Of course, with only $100 in my account, I can't afford one full share of Tesla stock. So I'd have to buy in dollars. So I can click that option right here. And let's say for this example's purpose, I only want to buy $10 worth of Tesla shares. So I can just click this $10 button right here. So then it takes us to this next page where it has our $10, how many shares this is equivalent to. And if everything checks out for us, we can swipe up from the bottom to submit. So then it says that this order is complete. My market order to buy $10 in Tesla shares is complete. And then it shows how much you invested, how many shares you purchased, the average price. And if you want, you can set up a recurring investment. Otherwise, you can just click the done button right here. And you should be good to go at that point in time. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the steps and how you go about getting funds into your Robinhood account so that you can go ahead and start investing. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.